Hi, this is Scott Krug from New England Low Vision and Blindness, and today I'd like to show you the Smart Reader from Enhanced Vision. The Smart Reader is one of the newer text-to-speech devices. Sometimes they're referred to as OCR devices. What that means, for those of you who don't know, is optical character recognition. So in layman's terms, what does that mean? It turns your text into speech. So this can be helpful for someone who has the inability to see if they're totally blind or if they have low vision and they have more voluminous amount of reading tasks, it's really much faster and much easier to read something of volume through your ears. Just as you're hearing me speak and you're processing what I'm saying through your ears, same thing is gonna happen with this device. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so the first thing about this device, what I want you to know is that even though we have a wire in the back that's just connecting me to this monitor so you can see what I'm seeing. Um, this is a battery operated, devi operated device. It has about a four to six hour battery. And all of these text-to-speech devices have this type of window that's where you need to place your document. So if you can't see where you're placing your document because you don't have a monitor connected to it, which most people would not, uh, what you're doing then is you're taking your document and you're tactily feeling OCR speed for the edges of the smart reader. So I'm feeling that, I'm taking my document, I'm putting it in there, and once I can feel that that's right there, then I can press either one of these buttons on top. I press that button, you hear a shutter sound, a tick tock noise, you see the barometer at the bottom processing. The, the page, you can see where it's at in its scan. I can even Those remove the document and it begins to read right away. Ocean State Center for Independent Living, OSL, winter 2019 slash We're gonna pause it for a few seconds. OSL program. What you'll program notice, coordinators what, work together. what you'll notice is that it strips away the format. It strips away all of the fonts. It strips away the spaces. It, um, it strips away the colors and it just makes it one font uh, and one color. Here it's white on black, and you can change that to black and white or, for, or, or a variety of foreground and background colors. But it's really nice because if you're going to be visualizing this as it's reading, uh, then it's nice to have all of the print, what they call text wrap, right on the same screen. Uh, but most people are not using a screen, so I just wanted you to hear the quality of the voice because I really like this product for a number of reasons, and one of them is the quality of the voice. And I'm gonna show you as it's reading how I increase the volume. It's a tactile feel dial on the left-hand side. And on the opposite side, there's a tactile dial that will regulate the speed of how fast or slow it's speaking. So I'm gonna press play and we're gonna do those two things. To maximize independence, also provides a variety of programs Louder. for individuals with disabilities and often these services work together to Lower. maximize independence. One successful example of this is a recent and you can plug in headphone sets to this so you can hear it in silence just for you your own privacy transition program Matt D. Lillo peer counselor Faster. coordinator of the of the youth transition program and, and Cynthia Smith coordinator of also slower Lansier connection program C connection program Michelle was the first I'll put it back to where we had it to meet our consumer who is in his mid thirties with spinal cord and I'm gonna pause it. If I do some key combinations, and all of this is right on the device, if I'm gonna press the pause button, and I'm gonna press the forward button. One, one word at a time, forward. From. So that's a. really nice. If you, if you missed a word and you wanna go back without reading the whole document, you can just go backward by From. word. Entry. Of course, if you wanted to go forward or backward by more increments, you can just press the forward button by itself. Nursing and home because his previous one, home was no nursing it, home because his that, previous home. And it jumps one line at a time. When it jumps to that line, it reads that line to let you know where you're at, and then it'll stop. So I'll, I'll jump one line ahead. Appropriate. It'll read him. that line. He initially became and it, reliant and it on it should the stop right there. Nursing, okay? Now you know where you are, and we'll press play. There we go. Appropriate for him. He initially became reliant on the nursing home staff rather than... Okay. I'm gonna press pause there again. So all of your controls are embedded right into the device. A really good sound on it, speed, volume. Um, if you're gonna attach an HDMI monitor, it looks really nice. You also can save documents in here. So uh, this document, um, 
we just saved it before, so you're gonna see it twice now, but I'm gonna press my save button, press and hold for about three seconds. And it's gonna ask- page or book mode. It's gonna ask me really, do you wanna save just this page or do you wanna save a book? You can save books onto here. Most people don't save a book on here. Most people are just reading one document at a time because it's so simple. But if you wanted to scan a book in or a pamphlet or a whole newsletter and then read it later, you can do that too. So right now we're not going to do the whole thing. We're just going to do a page. I'm going to hit the select button. Saving in progress. Saving page completed successfully. Press capture button to continue. I like that it announces all the different voice prompts. I'm going to go back. Rather um, than learn new oh, independent lip. Pause it. We're going to go now recall that saved image to try to find that again. You probably should see two of them at least. Uh, it's gonna ask you, did you save a picture or a document? So this one, we saved a, um, uh, a document. So I'm gonna go toggle Documents. to that one. I'm gonna select it. Select page or book. And mode. then was it a page or did you select, or did you save a whole book? This one was a page, we'll select it. Page four. And then I mentioned we did two of those same documents. I just did one before we did the video. You can go to either or, we're gonna select that one. Also and then there you have your saved document. Ocean State. So this particular unit, it's called the Smart Reader, is one of the newer ones and I really like the quality of the voice on it. I like that you can connect a monitor very easily. Um, I do like the footprint, it's very small and all of your controls are right there. Then when you're done, one of the best parts about it, this goes down. Powering down. The unit shuts down, you can unplug it from your monitor, and as it's shutting down, what I'm gonna show you is just how lightweight and easy it is to carry. It comes with its own carry bag, but this is really good for reading things when you're on the go. If you wanna access medical forms and you're in the doctor's office or at your lawyer's office, if you're at the library, if you're in another part of your house where it's really hard to uh, read documents very easily, this is very easy to carry right to where you want to go. And then it's just a matter of laying your material right down in front. It doesn't matter whether you're laying it top to bottom or bottom to top. The unit will automatically reorient it and read it the right way to you. So I invite you to contact us if you have any interest in the smart reader or any of our text-to-speech devices. And we'd be glad to take the time to show and find out if this particular product, the smart reader, is the right one for you by just starting uh, have you start by calling us at the number that you see at the bottom of your screen. Hey guys, very important. Would you please help us out and click that subscribe button at the top right hand corner of your screen. Also, before you go, there's one more button to click. As you know, it's that very important gray thumbs up like button. Thank you.